Welcome. Please skip to four minutes for results and comparisons. Today, we will present our paper INRV, a continuous representation space for videos. Images are considered a complete signal. However, videos are often broken down as a set of a temporally coherent sequence of images. For instance, all the state-of-the-art video generation networks model videos as a sequence of images. Here, an image space is learned. Videos are then generated as temporally coherent paths in this image space. This limits the expressivity of video to image-based operations. For instance, editing on frames. Direct video-based operations like video inversion or future video segment prediction need architectures that model temporal and spatial constraints ensuring that they are coherently learned. We propose that videos, like images, should be represented as a single signal. This would mean a latent space where each latent represents a complete video. However, such a representation is not straightforward. In a naive implementation, generating full videos would mean employing several 3D convolutional layers. As the dimension of the video increases, the computational requirements would drastically increase. Instead, videos can be parameterized using implicit neural representations. In such a paradigm, a function would take a pixel location x, y, t as input and generate the r, g, b value of that pixel. This would reduce the dynamic dimension of videos with millions of pixels to a constant few thousand parameters. With only few thousand parameters, a meta-network can now be used to predict these neural representations. As shown in the picture, D is a meta-network that takes a video code M as input and generates theta, the parameters of the implicit neural function F. D can then be trained over many neural representations. This allows D to learn a representation space, phi, over the neural representations. Each video instance V, N, is then represented by a unique video code M, N. A meta distribution, tau, is then learned by D such that every video code M is sampled from this space. Here tau is a continuous representation space for videos. D is a hypernetwork. This way, an entire video signal V is represented by a single latent point M sampled from a video space tau. However, hypernetworks are notoriously unstable to train, especially on complex spatio-temporal signals like videos. Training hypernetworks over thousands of video instances could take a long time to converge. We propose clip regularization and progressive training to stabilize hypernetworks. Clip regularization helps the training by assigning meaning to the latent space, tau. In a standard hypernetwork training, video codes M are regressed at the time of training for each video instance in the training set. Instead of directly regressing, we compute M by combining an encoded clip embedding GN and auto-decoded context code CN. To generate clip embeddings for videos, we design video clip. It first uses a pre-trained clip encoder to encode each frame of a video. These frame-wise embeddings are then passed through a bidirectional GRU to generate video embeddings. In progressive training, we train D in stages. At each stage, D only sees a subset of all the training examples. We progressively increase the number of examples at each stage such that the video instances at each stage are a subset of the video instances at the next stage. The video code of each video V learned at a stage L is then reused at the next stage L plus 1. Now, we move to evaluation and comparisons. We first start by comparing INRV with single INR. In single INR, each implicit function FN is optimized individually for each video VN. This is done by optimizing the shown equation. The table shows the results of reconstruction error given by standard metrics on single INR and INRV. As can be seen, INRV performs comparably with single INR. This indicates that INRV has learned accurate video representations despite learning thousands of video instances at once. Whereas, single INR is trained individually for each video. Here, we show some qualitative results. As shown, the difference between INRV and single INR is hard to notice. Thus, INRV can also be used as a compression technique. INRV can store thousands of videos and reconstruct them with minimal perceptual loss. 
Next, we evaluate random video generation. As shown, INRV outperforms all the existing networks in Rainbow Jelly and Moving MNIST. Using a simple denoising network as explained in the paper, INRV also outperforms all the networks in How to Sign Faces. Here, we show some qualitative results. As can be seen, INRV generates coherent videos with natural motion and content. Next, to test the continuous nature of the learned latent space, we interpolate between two videos. As an entire video is represented as a single latent point in INRV, interpolation is a natural operation. As can be seen from the videos, INRV displays a smooth transition in motion as well as the content. StyleGain V does not show a coherent transition in content or motion. DieGain shows sudden changes in identity as shown in the red boxes. The same can be observed here. Both style gain and die gain show abrupt transition in content. INRV on the other hand smoothly morphs between the content and motion. Here, we show INRV's inference on multiple resolution and lengths. Based on INRs, INRV is not constrained on any dimension. Here, INRV is trained on only videos of 25 frames 100 times 100 resolution. We infer INRV at 32 cross 32 resolution to 256 cross 256 resolution making a jump of 8 scale factor. We also infer INRV on 50 frames. The results are smooth and coherent videos. Next, we show results on video inversion. In an inversion, a given signal is inverted to find its latent in a learned latent space. Inversion is widely adopted and has been extensively researched for images. They are used for many downstream tasks, majorly for image editing. INRV represents a complete video using a single latent. Thus, inversion with INRV is a simple optimization given by the first equation. Moreover, INRV can also invert incomplete videos. This is done by the second equation. We make comparisons with style gain V, die gain, and video INR on several inversion based tasks. First, we start with a standard inversion and invert a full video. Next, we use incomplete videos. In video and painting, we mask the upper half of the video. In frame prediction, we optimize based on the first four frames. In frame interpolation, we use the first and last frames as the context point. In sparse in painting, we randomly select 25% pixels as context for optimization. In super resolution, we invert at a resolution of 32 and infer at a resolution of 128 giving a scale jump of 4. As can be seen from the table, INRV outperforms the existing networks in most of the tasks and almost all of the metrics. Now, we show some qualitative results. We start with vanilla inversion. As can be seen, both style gain V and Digon have repetitive motions. The finer pose changes such as sudden head movement in the first example and mouth opening in the second example are not captured in both the methods. INRV, on the other hand, has full motions. This is an easy task for INRV as it directly encodes a full motion and content in a single latent. Other methods have separate content and motion making the task of inverting spatiotemporal video signals hard. Thus, their output is less coherent and does not match the given ground truth as accurately as INRV does. Please note that all the videos used are outside of the training set. Next, we look at inversion with half context. This is not possible with style gain V. Die gain fails to regress to the correct identity in many cases. In the second case, one can clearly spot the mismatch in the identity. In the third case, there is a clear mismatch in motion. INRV on the other hand is able to regress to the correct identity with fine details like spectacles. It also captures the pose correctly as per the top half of the video. Here, we see some more tasks. In all of the tasks, INRV is able to regress to the correct identity and pose. In sparse in painting, INRV is able to regress to the correct video despite the sparsity in context. For the task of frame prediction and frame interpolation, INRV is able to generate meaningful missing context while capturing the given context well. 
Lastly, we look at the task of super resolution. In INRV, the inversion is done at a resolution of 32 and the inference happens at a resolution of 128. As can be seen, the generated videos are often better than both bicubic and video INR. Even though video INR has sharper outputs, INRV has smoother and more natural outputs. Now, we show some additional results on random video generation. As shown, INRV learns a coherent content and motion for each of the datasets. INRV has many potential applications. As shown INRV can store thousands of videos that can be used for compression. It can also generate diverse videos. This can power many real-life tasks such as automatically generating sign language videos and incorporating them in universities, schools, offices, and in daily grocery stores. INRV also shows coherent motion on full video inversions that can be used for many downstream applications. For example, future video prediction like pedestrian trajectory prediction is necessary for building robust autonomous robots. Allowing video inversion with half context opens up endless possibilities. For example, video restoration. Finally, existing super resolution techniques super resolve low resolution videos with full context. As INRV accurately inverts videos with incomplete context, it can also super resolve corrupted videos with parts of the video missing. Moreover, many of the shown tasks can be combined together to solve many more complex tasks. Thank you for watching the video.